Templar assassin has always searched for knowledge. In her childhood, she was already studying nature's laws, magic, and recreating keen experiments. She got extremely good at staying hidden in order to access secret knowledge equally well hidden away. Then, while trying to unlock the ultimate secrets of the universe, she instead unlocked the hidden temple. There, a master taught her in his ways, and she grew incredibly powerful. As long as she stayed loyal and kept the secrets hidden, her powers would not be lost. She served the temple and this master, despite not knowing who he is. But now, with the Outlanders update, his identity has been revealed. Long have my celestial brothers beckoned. But I abhor the blindness of the mortal plane. From the void, nothing escapes my notice. No secret lies beyond my grasp. Yet, soon I must finally step from my hidden bastion to wage battle alongside my brothers and save them for a greater cause to come. Existence as you perceive it is but a shade of the infinite realm. Let's listen to his void voice lines one by one, and I will comment on what it means exactly. Before there was the spirit, there was the void. Before there was anything, there was the void. So, before there was anything, including the primordial mind and its shattering, there was the void. Void is just nothingness. Kind of like our own Big Bang. There was nothing, and then the nothing exploded. Long after, though only a moment in the scope of the whole, there came a being of great power. Then the great being came, aka Elder Titan. Still without comprehensible form or voice of my own, I felt this titan's hammer fall and the four children scatter. He then caused the schism, which shattered the primordial mind, creating the ancients in Ark Warden, and then later created the four fundamental laws of the universe, Chaos Knight, Keeper of the Light, Enigma, and Io. I began to find myself in the reverberations of the blow, and I saw the expanse of time flash forth from the instant. Then he saw the expanse of time, which may mean this is the part where the Klezerim realm came to exist, and Faceless Void too. In that cascade of moments, I knew I must learn to compose a form capable of interacting with the material plane. Then amidst the chaos, the Void finally willed itself into a being of its own, creating Inai, the Void Spirit. There's a lot to speculate about purple things like Darkseer and the place beyond the wall, Faceless Void and Class Rame, Spurbreaker, even the place where they play Artifact to test our events, and the Violet Plateau and much more. But I know that Sir Action Slex has a huge amazing theory about this, so I will leave that to him. I have a separate theory of my own. Void Spirit usually resides in a different plane than the material one in the Hidden Temple. I have taken a form more able to interact with the matters of the mortal plane, but I do not pass my time here. To house this body and the artifacts it collects, I long ago constructed a hidden bastion, a temple fashioned after Recordomite design, far removed from the reach of all but those very few I permit to chance across it. Voidspirit usually resides in a different plane than the material one, in the Hidden Temple. The doorway to it is found within nature itself, and can't be seen by normal people. And if you watched my Snapfire video, you know that Snapfire talks about this place beyond the barren desert Nanarak called the Outlands, which few know of. In my headcanon, the Outlands is where TA found the entrance to the Hidden Temple. The Hidden Ones live in the temple, and among them is Templar Assassin's master, Inai the Void Spirit. They are known by him as the Cordomite Monks. The temple of the Cordomite Monks was filled with scholars wise enough to study both the martial and arcane arts, yet humble enough to know they did not possess the wisdom to correctly wield them. Very few mortals since have earned my respect like the Cordomite that barely a single soul remembers them is no small reason why. Void Spirit is a celestial and the fourth spirit brother. I have a video about the spirit brothers in the top right corner. 
he is the oldest, wisest, and at least lore-wise, probably the most powerful of the four. The secrets and powers he holds would shatter a regular mortal mind, but Templar Assassin was special. He prefers to stay in his hidden temple, only observing time and space from afar, and instead has servants like Templar Assassin that do his bidding and protect his forbidden knowledge. From the void he can see everything, every timeline, every event, every hero. But one thing escapes him. While he is able to know the Battle of the Ancient is coming, he can't peek beyond it. I have seen everything just beyond this moment, but there soon comes a point where I am blind. I do not worry. I have made every preparation for what I imagine lies ahead. Soon the fabric of this realm will merge with others, and the ripples of destruction will touch all planes equally. He knows the fabrics of multiple realities will collide, but what is the conclusion of that? He can see all the simultaneous timelines are coming together, meeting like rivers, the great confluence. But he doesn't know what happens when one ancient is destroyed, only that a greater conflict emerges, a bigger threat. This is the same one Spirit Breaker has come to fight, because he too knows that the material plane is only a shadow of the elemental one where he and the Celestials reside. But from Artifact's Twitter, we know that after one ancient is destroyed, the timeline just resets. I wouldn't word a reset the way Void Spirit and Templar Assassin does. I think either this is a hole in the writing, or <laughs> a void if you will, or the statement could have been retconned. Every Dota game is canon, because it's every timeline, every outcome, every reality. We see, for example, in the Oracle and Phantom Assassin comic. But it makes more sense that they are simultaneous, rather than after one another. The artifact tweet and TA voice line are, in my understanding, conflicting, and don't actually make sense. The fall of an ancient will set in motion the rise of a threat not even the hidden temple can ignore. It makes sense that Voidspirit can't peek beyond the Battle of the Ancients because there literally is no time there since it gets reset back to zero. But this makes no sense when he talks about the timelines meeting in a confluence, implying they are simultaneous, and the sensing of a greater conflict after it. There can't be a greater conflict if the timeline just resets. They would not make it this big a deal that they put it in his lore bio if this great thing that happens when an ancient is destroyed wasn't a great event of its own. Maybe even enough to make a game out of? So we have Artifact, which is kind of a prequel, since it's all events happening between the Sundering of the Mad Moon and Dota 2. We also have Underlords, which is a brawl happening prior to the final Battle of the Ancients. But we have never seen a sequel to the original Dota 2 before. Is it just me, or is the way they talk about this thing happening after Dota kind of like a setup for something new? And it can't just be an event within Dota 2, because whatever it is, it would have to happen after an ancient is destroyed, which is literally what ends a Dota game. I don't know, but that would be amazing. After all this, let's read the second half of his lore. With an expansive perspective on existence, Inai is focused intently on a point in time beyond which he cannot see, when the fabrics of multiple realities are fated to collide. Now he steps from the other to personally resolve the Battle of the Ancients to prepare his allies for what he views as a greater conflict to come. And now you can decide for yourself if you think this opposes the timeline resetting or not. I personally think either they forgot about it or retconned that tweet. Especially because Earthshaker's Arcana is kinda hinting more in the Void Spirit direction than the Artifact tweet one. Seraction Sacks has a great video about the Earthshaker Arcana if you haven't seen it. For now, let's just say that usually an ancient being destroyed resets the timeline, and usually Void Spirit knows about that because the Void is infinite even beyond time. But at one point, for some reason, something else happens, as multiple realities collide in the confluence, and that greater conflict, for some reason, he can't see. So that's it for Void Spirit, thank you so much for watching. I'm finally done with the Outliners update, so I can get back to regular uploads. Next up is Crystal Maiden, as well as some artifact guides. The Long Haul League main events are happening this weekend, and then on Monday the League starts over. So if you want to join from the start, make sure to join the Discord and look out for Lobby starting next week. Anyways, until then, have a wonderful day and peace!